Hello again, this is Dr. Elisha Van Dusen with New Hope Chiropractic. In the previous video, I went over some of the benefits of drinking water. Now I'm going to talk about how much water you should drink. While eight glasses a day has been the standard recommendation for adults for quite a few years, the actual amount that you need depends on factors like your body size, your activity level, your age, your diet, and also how much alcohol, coffee, and other drinks you consume. Because not everyone agrees how much water you should drink each day, here are recommendations from a few major health authorities. The Institute of Medicine recommends um, between 9 and 13 cups per day for adults. Harvard Medical School tells us that 4 to 6 cups is a standard recommendation for generally healthy people. And then studies conducted by the National Institutes of Health suggest between 6 and 10 cups per day is adequate. So here are some tips for getting into the habit of drinking more water. Start your day with a big glass before having coffee or eating breakfast. Down some water to get things moving. When you drink water in the morning, you start off the, on the right foot, giving your body water that it needs after a long night without anything to drink. Get into the habit of bringing a water bottle with you wherever you, whenever you leave home, including your car, your office, the gym, and any other place you might uh, have frequent during the day. Have a glass with each meal or afterward as well as when you complete other tasks throughout your day like uh, taking medicine or supplements. This association will help you remember to drink more water. All beverages containing water contribute to your daily needs so to keep things interesting mix it up with different types of water plus sneak more into your diet via hydrating fruits and veggies. In the US it's estimated that about 22 percent of adults Water comes from their diets and likely even more in European countries. Some of the most water-rich foods include cantaloupe, strawberries, watermelon, lettuce, cabbage, celery, spinach, cucumbers, squash, yogurt, apples, grapes, oranges, and pears. And when drinking alcohol, take it very slow and have a glass of water between drinks or ideally stop at one drink. Drink more when exercising or when spending time in hot, humid climates that make you sweat. And if you're sick, recovering from an illness, pregnant, or breastfeeding, be sure to consume even more water since your needs will be higher. And if you want to spice up your water a little bit, make it a little bit more interesting, you can um, add things like, like lemon to your water that makes its flavor a little bit better, also makes it more alkaline. Try sparkling water. This is uh, carbonated, which, which makes it bubbly and doesn't add calories or salt. Also, fruit-infused water is good, too. Try things like watermelon, berries, oranges, or even herbs like mint or lavender. Other hydrating beverages that offer some benefits include cold-pressed juices, herbal teas, unsweetened coconut water, bone broth, unsweetened almond, coconut um, milks, things like that. Make sure you don't add a lot of sugar, and uh, that can make your, your water intake a little bit more interesting. And uh, also make sure you're getting regular chiropractic adjustments because that also helps uh, metabolize the water properly so that it's going through your body properly and you're getting the most benefit from it because the chiropractic adjustments uh, you're helping your nervous system function at its optimal level which really controls your whole body. Check us out at newhopechiropractic.com and have a very very healthy day and drink that water.